Hello and welcome to another modeling video. This is Alan from the McConnor Man at YouTube with a, another modeling video. Today we'll be looking at uh, the 3D printer again. I've uh, had some uh, successes and some incidences. Uh, each uh, discussion point is not enough for its own video. Uh, some of these discussion points will be expanded and demonstrated in future videos, but sort of want to just uh, give a bit of an update where I am with this printer. It is a uh, up mini, and uh, it's a 12 by 12 uh, by 12 centimeter print bed that takes ABS. Though I've just recently introduced PLA to it. Let's have a look. A while ago, uh, talking about modeling, I tried out and bought the Tamiya ABS cement. And just a quick rundown: it works different from plastic cement, where with uh, ABS surfaces. You apply it to each surface and then immediately clamp down, not moving it, not budging it for uh, a long time. And it will produce a really, really good uh, seal or uh, adhesion. Uh, I had to repair a couple of broken pieces. Now, this came out absolutely great. If it's two large flat surfaces, think of it as resin and pin it. But uh, for ABS uh, modeling, I found uh, ABS cement to be very appropriate for um, ABS modeling printing. Now with the 700 gram ABS reel, here is a collection of everything I smashed out from large projects to small, detailed and plain. Uh, did not recalibrate the printer whatsoever and only really had one um, cloggage incident which I um, want to point out that uh, ABS with this uh, printer has been very successful and had a lot of fun printing out a lot of uh, bits and pieces and incorporating it with my modeling especially with tons of these uh, Gatling guns which are uh, quite big and uh, will accompany my models nicely I printed out t over 20 of these 10 gram um, guns and gave them out as gifts to uh, friends I have also successfully on AutoCAD drawn and drafted my first uh, item and uh, since I'm really into these uh, helmets, I made that uh, Full Metal Alchemist uh, Alphonse helmet. I've uh, made a helmet stand and uh, I just printed one off and painted it. And the second one I'm going to putty up and sand the uh, hell out of it. It uh, printed off uh, very easily and came out quite great. So quite uh, confident in AutoCAD. But uh, other um, printing software and exporting it to an STL file. Uh, it shouldn't be too much of a uh, problem. I'll uh, cover this more in future videos of more of uh, my designs. Also, if you fancy this um, stand, I've uh, put it on Thingiverse. Link below. Now, with my changing in material. From my understanding, a lot of manufacturers of uh, 3D printers have uh, two types of uh, filaments or sizes. 3mm. Uh, and 1.75 millimeter. This happens to be a 1.75 millimeter um, take-in. Uh, you've got aftermarket ones that are made by companies that are quite cheap. I think up to 30 to 50 dollars a kilo, and then it gets a bit more um, expensive for the finer ones and ones made by the actual manufacturer, of the printer. Now, it's normally recommended you buy the ones that are manufactured for your printer, so they don't get jammed, stuck whatever they're actually perfectly round and they sort of don't bow in an oval shape and um, I was recommended that this would work uh, perfectly fine on the um, up plus it's 1.75 PLA I chose yellow because I like the look of our uh, tan aftermarket bits glued to models now I've uh, noticed some significant uh, difference in the two materials the uh, PLA uh, which I did not imagine this would be the case, is uh, far more inflexible and uh, brittle than the uh, ABS. Uh, funnily enough, after being uh, printed, it's got a bit of flex to it, though when ABS is printed, uh, that becomes uh, fairly brittle. So uh, chemical formulation or change or whatever, I'm not too sure. But uh, it's uh, definitely a big difference as well as when uh, being printed 
it uh, takes a different uh, temperature and uh, different settings and just uh, absolutely reacts in the uh, 3D printer differently. I find the uh, resolution or the actual print lines is a lot finer and gives a nicer detail and it's a lot softer and easier to uh, work with over the ABS. Also, I do warn, um, earlier I mentioned that you don't want uh, the spool to unravel because there's a potential of um, it tangling itself up and you'd have to pull it apart and rewrap it, taking many, many hours. The uh, reel or the spool is not the same shape, so I try to reel a little bit on the old one for enough uh, material to print off a uh, new stand for the reel and uh, that was a uh, very uh, tedious long hard uh, didn't enjoy it at all so you don't want it unraveling whatsoever and uh, Tenley just uh, printed off enough material to um, get less than half of the stand to attach to the back of the 3D printer funnily enough it's strong enough that it takes it and it hasn't had um, any serious uh, incidents so before you run out of material uh, make sure you print one of uh, these off and you make sure it fits now unfortunately since PLA prints out at a different uh, temperature, a lot lower at around 200, I'm finding that uh, the nozzle and just before the heater uh, clogs. Now I'm not too sure if it's my calibration or whatnot. I'm still technically experimenting at this stage and it sort of brought my 3D printing to a halt. Uh, what it has led me to do is uh, forced me to um, do some maintenance. And I've uh, pulled apart the 3D printer head completely to have a look at the uh, wheel to make sure that it's uh, bringing in the material via the stepper motor and the uh, bearing. Though I think if I'm able to increase the heating just a tiny bit, which I'm not sure how to do this manually or my heating exchange is uh, damaged, uh, this will uh, give me uh, less problems. The video that I am currently working on is uh, how to calibrate the machine and uh, I'll show you a picture of uh, what something printed incorrectly will look like when it's uh, not calibrated properly as well as how to pull apart the uh, assembly block and if the material is stuck in the nozzle which I've showed how to uh, do maintenance on the nozzle by pulling it apart while it's still hot and drilling down the center um, of the hole and soaking it in acetone with the assembly itself it can get stuck in the heat exchange or uh, the heating mechanism and with the correct drill bit you're able to uh, drill right through it and I notice it sort of uh, blocks just above the actual heating chamber and drilling that material out can free it and able to allow you to print a lot uh, easier now during calibration you want to have uh, the nozzle and the uh, board exactly 2 microns away or 0 0.2 millimeters now a friend of mine who has the exact same printer reckons setting it between 0 0.2 and 0 0.3 gets really good results now I had it far too far away like almost uh, half a millimeter away and it just sort of uh, produced this uh, spaghetti that you see in this picture that I've been sort of doing it closer to 0 0.1 to 0 0.2 and what I'm finding is uh, the blocking is occurring quite uh, frequently and I think it's sort of sealing the nozzle or it's not allowing the material to flow through. So I've got a few more uh, tuning to do and a few more attempts at unblocking and uh, calibrating until I think I'm back on the bandwagon and that will uh, definitely be reported back. Mind you, if uh, PLA or this type of PLA is giving me far too much grief uh, returning to um, ABS is still on the cards as uh, directly cement on cement uh, a PLA piece to a model kit piece does not seem to be that easy as there's a weight and adhesion problem of uh, the two surfaces they're not exactly flat that aside I've also been playing on AutoCAD and I've uh, drafted these two pieces, a machine gun, ammo tank, and Gatling gun piece. And I'm working on a Grimmore for a uh, Reconquista grip build. And here is a collection of um, all the pieces. Everything here is uh, drafted via AutoCAD. After other drafting software will do, uh, some vents and uh, a backpack. 
The backpack in one piece did not print out so well. It sort of warped in some places. I think it did struggle. I've sliced it up into many different components and each piece came out a lot nicer and crisper. Uh, seam lines is a bit of a hassle, but uh, I find everything needs to be glued and puttied anyway, so uh, it did take um, a few hours of uh, sanding. I've got a shield bracket that's fitting straight into a slot that's going to have a shield scratch built around it, and everything else is going to be dremeled a bit and glued around the joint. All in all, all of this may seem a bit uh, confusing. Um, Again, I do remind you all that I'm still a beginner and a student to 3D printing. The printer that I did purchase is one of the cheapest on the market and probably has uh, one of the lowest uh, resolution and most uh, issues out of the box outside of those uh, 3D printers that you actually build and tune yourself. I'm actually finding in my immediate uh, community of uh, modeling and uh, other friends are uh, also involved in 3D printing and I'm sort of exchanging information and uh, constantly learning. What I do uh, learn and bring, I'm going to uh, make videos for. Uh, since I've got this PLA problem, I'm going to work on a video next week on calibrating the um, bed and um, showing in video detail how to unblock uh, the assembly head and uh, heater exchange. All in all, I haven't abandoned this. Uh, this is still going to be uh, a big part and is a bit of an example of uh, my grimoire with uh, all sorts of aftermarket parts as well as uh, personally designed 3D printing parts on it. Thank you very much for watching and as always, until uh, next time, I'll uh, slowly churn out videos and learn more about the 3D printing process. Catch you guys next time.